made it. Now it's Ireland versus Italy in the Stadio Olimpico at tomorrow's Six Nations Clash in Rome. And this morning we are helping you with some Italian themed grub options to munch on throughout the match. The Italian stallion himself. <laughs> That's me. Giuseppe Grubby. <laughs> You have a modest to send yes, a yes, as well. Morning, are you the same she flirts with me now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, of anyone. Of course, everyone. Yeah. Flirting okay. is a form of art, isn't it? So basically, we're going to do frittelle. Say frittelle. Frittelle. Is it? Right? Fritter. Fritter. Well, very good, spreading the word. Basically, it's a fritter. So, and uh, you're going to, you can use uh, loads of vegetables. We're going to do it with courgette, zucchine. And uh, you can actually keep the zucchine in coarse salt first. So, you know, to like, soak the moisture out. Yes, the, yeah. the moisture out. Do and you need to do it? No, but it's nicer if you okay. do so because it's uh, uh, an intenser flavor that okay. you get. So now we are going to focus on the butter. For the butter, we are going to put some flour. Okay. It, what's that, zero, zero? Yeah, well, yeah. Done. it's but zero. If we don't if we don't have zero zero knocking around in the kitchen, we can use any old flour. Well, use uh, plain flour, and in fact, we are going to do for you the one with chickpeas flour. You the know, vegan like, one, thank yes, you. Yes, yes, and it's also gluten free. We are going to put some cheese in it. Oh, actually, so much for me being vegan, I've eaten half that parmesan. Oh, very good, very <laughs> good. A little bit of salt and pepper, okay? And then, uh, can you put some beer into that? How much do you want? Uh, put, put, put. It's a, it's a, that's enough. Enough? Well, oh. then we'll see if we want to add more. Okay. And uh, mix it all together. Yeah, a little bit more. Yeah, very good. That's a wise use Why of the beer, we, isn't it? You why know? are we using the beer? Well, basically, it's like uh, rather than using the yeast, you know, like so it will grow. Yes, you can put a little bit more. And then uh, basically, we are going to put the, uh, the courgette directly into yeah, that. You're going to need lots you know? more. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Go, 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 go. Do you want it to be, yeah, you want yeah. it to be quite fluid? Yeah, 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 yeah. You want, you want to that. Yes, very good, very good. We might need more beer. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 it's perfect. There, Giuseppe, is there much? Deep? I love when you should say. Is there, yeah, That's yeah. how you Talking do about it. flirting, she's flirting while doing the butter. Oh, Come on, flirting. because you're sexy. Whatever you do, tell me. <laughs> I just, I tell you what, I just. No, 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 no. The more the merrier. The more the merrier. I leave or you get a room. <laughs> yeah. Which is it? Um, no, I want to. Is, is there much deep frying in Italian cooking? Yes, there is actually. You know, like the only thing is that traditionally it was uh, with uh, um, the olive oil, and now we moved into vegetables olive oil. That's perfect. Actually, you can uh, put some w into the um, vegetable olive oil because it's a much uh, a lighter fry. So you can put the, um, the courgette as oh. well into that. You well, put as much as you want. So you've chopped the courgette very finely. Yeah, we okay. do it because we are not going to and cook them. And if we used another vegetable like the aubergines or well, the, the peppers, yeah, you'd yeah, want it, us to chop as finely well, as well? Well, uh, uh, yes, yeah, unless you want them kind of uh, al dente, if okay. you know what I mean. Also, you, you see, like, you can taste them as a snack during the match, which you can watch in Pinocchio. That's a good if one. If you want to see the Italians. Yeah. Why, why? Why did you go for courgettes? Courgettes are really, really high in water. Yeah, uh, well, so. but that's why you put the salt, and also you have to consider that so in you Italy. You in coarse salt to begin with. Yes, so that you will uh, get rid so of the extra. No, the water. Yeah. The water and then uh, what you do in uh, in that case uh, is uh, now you we have an open pan of smoking oil. Yes. A fireman in here not long ago told yes. me how dangerous this was. So Very do be good. careful if you're doing I this will, oil. I will. Yeah. I will. And uh, in the meantime, actually, you can do the other butter okay, with the sure. chickpeas flour. Okay. So Okey while dokey. I'm frying there, so put Can the chickpeas. Can you buy chickpea flour. flour anywhere, Giuseppe? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I find it a lot into in Indian shops. You know? Yeah, because they use it a lot, don't they? Yes, uh, they do. And uh, can you see we are deep frying it now? And um, Indian on. shops, uh, tell me. Hold well, on. basically till the brown. Uh, so that's why they have to be kind of uh, very thinly sliced. Oh, did you put it? I did. Yes, and now put the beer. Actually, can you open the other one because it's gluten free? Do we have a yes, we do. Here it is. Okay. And then in the meantime, I can take this out. And that's what you want. How do okay. I open beer? I never open beer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and basically, <laughs> yeah. You're very good at opening beer. I couldn't do it. Yes, we have an entertaining moment. <laughs> no, I, think, I think it's the other way around. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Gosh, very good. So we are teaching people <laughs> how to open the Do beer. you teach this when we go to your cookery school? Well, it's part beer. of this. Bravo. 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 And then uh, you can mix it with the different ones. Okay. Yeah. Well, so I've got chickpea flour in here, some gluten free beer. Yes, this is the gluten free. And what else? Yes, this well, is that's the not gluten free. Yeah, that's okay. the one that we just opened. And yes. some salt or anything? Yes, else? yes. We put some salt. Salt and pepper. Okay. Yes, I'll do that. I put the beer. Put, put the no beer. cheese, obviously, because it's no, the vegan. No, because one. we want to keep it okay. vegan. Okay. 
That's it, that's it. Go, mix it. Okay, I will mix away. Yes. Is that go. okay, your thing yeah. that's on the stove? Yes, I actually put it lower after you said it. Very good. And you also added the flavor of chickpeas to that. As I say, you can have it as a snack and you can come and watch the, sh the match in Antioch in uh, Temple Bar. Okay, you mentioned that. Yes, <laughs> but I like to mention it again. <laughs> I'll make uh, it a bit looser. Oh, yes. No, no, that's, no, that's perfect, okay. actually. And then uh, you sure, can put... Sure, kids would love these. It's yeah. quite sneaky Also, way. you know, it's a nice way, you know, yeah. for uh, for people to eat, actually, vegetables. And then, yes, Could mix it up. Do you have a spoon, up. actually, to do that? Yes, I've obviously. got one here. Yeah. Here it is. Use this one, if Thank you like. You. Yeah. Thank you very and, much. Uh, you mix them all together, and as I said, in this case, uh, you get the um, yeast out of the beer, so you don't need to put the yeast in case you don't want to. That's and a very clever little gluten-free batter recipe. Yeah, yeah, and in fact, uh, that's why I was showing all these vegetables, so they look good on television, yeah. but also, you know, like, it's a way to say so that... So just uh, chickpea flour and a bit of gluten-free beer. Yes, and, and there then... You go. And then that's what you get. What are those know? lovely deep fried um, rice balls that you do? Well, uh, thank you for mentioning that because we have arancini and They're we delicious. have. We are going to make them They're next so good. time we just for you. Also in Pinocchio. Yeah, 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 yeah you can. You can Go have to it. Pinocchio. It's summer watch style. Watch it in fact. See grown men cry. Yes. But uh, with style. <laughs> yes, with style, as you were saying. You know, like, uh, and uh, we don't cry. So they're done really quickly. Yes, they are. And uh, as I say, that you know, like, you can now taste it. I do want to taste it. It's yes. Really yes. Which one is? That's Mark's, is it? And that's uh, yours. Okay. And that's your... Thank you very yeah, much. Now, we were saying you need a sauce to dip these in, but you were saying initially no, you wouldn't do no, that. No, no, you wouldn't. I think my mind needs yes, a bit more yes, time. Yes, yes, it's a little yeah. bit more, yes. Oh, this, then, no, this is the one with the cheese, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. that's the one so with the cheese. So your cheese is melted. Yes. Mine needs a little bit longer in there. What do you think? And uh, th those are the ones that we did with other vegetables. Yeah, Pepper and cheese. Oh. Oh. What's not to love? Yeah. You, must, you must love them. And uh, can you taste the chickpeas in yours? I can. It's really good. I like yes, chickpeas. Yeah, yes. mm. And then, no, we don't use butter um, uh, dip, uh, to dip them in anything. I'd like a nice aioli now or you something. You can still do yeah. that I can if still you do like. That. Yes. Okay. So you're allowed. I'm allowed. Um, I good luck. Do you prefer yeah. the chickpea? Oh, yeah. thank you for saying that because I think it is a different uh, flavor, and mm. uh, I'm trying to promote uh, gluten-free and vegan uh, recipes to my friends. And uh, often you don't have to have something that is less tasty because of that. No, you know? that's a total misnomer, actually. Mm. Giuseppe, that was lovely. Thank good you. luck tomorrow. You guys are going to need it. <laughs> now, still to come, Laura Birmingham is going to be here with some of the best new brands in the Irish beauty business. Do you want me to do that? And it's all about <laughs> it's all about black and white uh, for fashion yeah. this morning. Uh, Suzanne Jackson will be joining us with some classic monochrome looks.